brother. I feel fucking good right now, brother. Yeah. Yeah, brother. Shout out to racist asshole, Colgan. Remember they got in trouble? Yeah, brother. I said, they're my brothers. 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 And those white men would be like, hey, brother. I'm trying to figure this out. My Keisha. What is the tea, y'all? <laughs> we are down here, girl. I feel so good right now. Let me tell you something. You know, I've been up since, girl. I think I woke up at 346. Like, boop, popped up. And was like, okay. So I started my morning routine earlier. But I feel like so good. I have my mushroom coffee. Now. Now, I like, I like the mushroom coffee. It does have coffee extract in it. And that's probably why, that's probably what's going to keep me because the coffee flavor is what I was afraid of. Yes, all men. Yeah, go get your shirts, your, your merch. Yes, all men, girl. Yes. Yes, all of them. Black, white. Asian, hi Hispanic, girl, not Hispanic, Latinx, it don't matter. Yes, all men, all have come out of the same goddamn factory, embedded with the same programming, just different spices. Girl. Did y'all see The Breakfast Club yesterday, girl? The bre I, didn't, I don't watch The Breakfast Club anymore. I have stopped watching The Breakfast Club Probably, I think I stopped watching The Breakfast Club around the pansexual. I was done. I was just, I think when they went into that format, they came back. They weren't really, I don't know. It wasn't, I don't know. It's just Charlemagne and Envy and Jess. First of all, it's like three male-minded people sitting up there. Um. And acting like they didn't know what was going on. When I tell you, when y'all be like, you bias, you bias. No, that is like an, an example of bias. Like they acted like they couldn't even talk. And like I said on Twitter, I found it ironic. I think I posted it on YouTube too. I found it ironic that y'all always talking about people coming forward and you need to speak up sooner. Speak up, speak up, speak up. And they acted like the cat had all of their tongues wrapping a knot girl i was like and to me I, I kept thinking there's no way and this is why i tell y'all i see a lot of people they want to be in this like industry kind of in the circumference right of the industry shit and when you get too far in you can't even talk because now you have you have created relationships and have proximity to these people when you keep your proximity at a good distance, you can run your mouth about these people and they can't grab your tongue when it's time to actually speak. And what's crazy, I did forget that Breakfast Club and Revolt had a relationship and Diddy just just sold his shares of Revolt, but is owner of Revolt, was owner of Revolt and up until a 24, 48 hours ago, girl. 72 hours ago. I don't know. But they literally were like, and then just acting like, Carisha, you don't have to, this, why are we talking about Carisha? Why are we talking about Carisha? Girl, you don't have to say nothing, girl. I mean, they handcuffed his kids. It was like they was going after somebody at the mob. Last time I saw the mob be blowing up people's cars and shit. So. Why would they go in with all the damn military? What? This man is blowing people's cars up. We going in armed because we don't know what y'all got up in here. And y'all be praying for the wrong, you praying for the wrong people, like signaling, but like literally, pray, like pray for the victims. This is what I said on Instagram. Did I tell y'all I like the, the mushroom coffee? I do. It, I do. I want to read a couple of things, but this was on Instagram. I said, 
race is not where the line is drawn because you know they pull out their little dusty playbook every time a black man is in some type of gets caught for his nefarious de demonic activities that people have suffered from they come out and say do y'all like these glasses what glasses do y'all like the best this one or oh no mm -mm. we going back it doesn't look like a candy cane we going back to this this is cute i don't know what's going on with this little these hairs on the side child I'm trying to keep it like you know little my little tendrils on the side anyway so this is what i said while you're praying for him you should be praying for his victims being restored and made whole from the pieces he has taken from them. Y'all be so caught up in the vortex of race that you will allow someone who terrorizes and harms men, women, and children. What children y'all talking about? Girl, if they have teen in their name, they're a child. I don't give a damn what the law says. They're a child. Okay, thank you. I'm glad we cleared that up. Y'all be so caught up in the vortex of race that you will allow someone who terrorizes and harms men, women, and children just because he's black. I'm not in a community with anyone who thinks just he's just some black man being taken down. Demise should be his destiny and we all deserve to see it fulfilled. Pray for the people he's harmed. And, and this is what I said. I think I saved it in the drafts because I didn't want to send it too early, but it was just on my mind. I said, when you give someone a drug to immobilize them and allow other people to do unimaginable things to them, to their body, while they're still awake and unable to move, yeah, I might have liked you in the past, but I have no love for you. You are a disgusting human being and deserve hell. And whatever hell that looks like in your mind. Honestly. And then y'all know he has. The tattoo here. I'm going to, I want you to see, here we go. The, the black Madonna. Erzule Dantor in the Loa, right? Haitian voodoo. This goddess, she has, I'm reading from Wiki, several manifestations or incarnations, but most prominent and well known manifestations are Erzuli Frida and Erzuli Dantor. They are spelling, there are spelling var variations also, like they shorten the, the name or whatever. So listen, she's the goddess of mother and children. And you are harming women and children. And he has the tattoo on his back. When I tell you, he knows what he's doing. But do you ever notice that he's always on a massage table getting some shit worked out? Because his body is probably rejecting on him. Here, let me show you Puffy's back. I saw, I'll, I'll put a picture of his back. He has a tattoo of a black Madonna on his back. She's the, the, the matron saint of mothers and children. And you are harming children. And women. And, and people on, and on the Breakfast Club, you know, they're like, oh, what? Why? Why would they go in his house? Does do they have a search warrant? After you play the tape that says, I'm active search warrants. Why are you asking? I'm like, do they read what they're about to have an opinion on? Like it's just really, and I I know they have a relationship, but like I said, y'all be wanting to get into these industries. And it's they're not what you think they are. They're not what you think they are. And It's all the more reasons to stay on the fringes of the industry. 
Don't get too deep into that stuff because then you won't be able to do what you do. Because now, oh, now I can't say I have to act dumb. Like I would never be able to do that job where I had to act dumb. Like I didn't know what was going on because of my association with somebody. Like you can't even be honest. You can't even be honest because if DJ in these daughter was one of Puffy's victims, I'm sure he would have a different story. Charlemagne's daughters, all three of them, if they were victim of victims of Sean Combs, I'm sure he would have a different story. And this unborn child of Jess's, if it was a victim of Puffy's, I'm sure she would have a different story too. Well, why they go up in there like that? It seems like it's a show. It is a show. Can't stop, won't stop. It's been a show. It's been a show. And we're going to see it to the end, to the final curtain drops. We're going to watch it. Are we all watching? I can't just see. I can't stand by and watch y'all take a black man down. Can you imagine? Now, I could see. Let me tell you something. I could see if all of a sudden something came out of the blue and they storm Barack Obama's house. And all of a sudden he's being alleged of all these things. And we like, what the fuck? Now I could see them saying, we trying to take a biracial black man down. I could see that. But this is not the case. And y'all are operating on such a deep programming that it is literally like a bing. And then you're like, I don't know why we're taking the black man down. I can't take the black man down. Y'all love to take the black man down. Y'all love to see, like, you're like literally, bing, program. Why would they take a black, you, did y'all hear Slim Thug? It was just to show, y'all, he's the, he's the only, but we ain't gonna have no more billionaires. What are you talking about? You act like him having the billions of dollars is doing anything for you people. Hello? That's what y'all really don't want to talk about. He got all that money and what the fuck is he doing with it? He's using it to harm people. So let's strip him of his billions, whatever billion dollars you think Puffy has. <laughs> Girl. Whatever billions you think he has, then God damn it. He, we, we ain't going to have no more, no more billionaires because that's all they care about because they need the money. See? What he's doing, the men wish that they were able to do that too. That's the crazy part. That's why it's like, you're, it's so weird to watch so many people identify and then try to, you know, like excuse or ignore or act like it's not happening or act like something bad is happening to him. Like he's the victim in this and all this stuff. Um, it's just that like, it's, I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. I'm like, really want to know what the psychology is behind it. Like, you know, like on the wall, like here are victims, right? Maybe you need to see something. But to me, in my mind, what did it for me? Even though, like y'all said it in the comments, said, I've been on these motherfuckers as asses. Like, it don't matter. Like, Russell Simmons and Bali, get get it, get their asses, take them all down. I'd love to see it. I do. I do. Because people who terrorize communities and people and, 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 and change people's realities and lives and change the way their nervous systems are set or their brains are set or whatever, I can't even imagine the nightmares that woman has, Cassie. And I can't even imagine being immobilized taking drugs and being immobilized and watching people do shit to my body that I can't even, I can't even move and get up. That when I, when I think about that, as I describe that, it makes me sick. And for anybody to be on the, to even hear that and to be like, they're just trying to take him down. It's just like, girl, no, I am not in community with none of you weird old motherfuckers who are stuck and trapped in the vortex of race so deep that you will excuse somebody who has harmed somebody in that way. What kind of torturous, sick, sadistic fuck are you praying for? Y'all better check yourselves. What, what side of the, like, and then like Slim Thug, you really got on camera and press record 
and said that out of your mouth? Are you a man with, ch- and it is, and you can't even say, are you a man with children? Because their connection to their children ain't like, it's, it's, it, it, it's nothing to be like, to try to use as a way to get them to kind of come out of their whatever the fuck kind of mentality they're having. The kids don't change it. Kids don't change people. As much as y'all like to run around, kids don't change a motherfucking body. They don't. You are who you fucking are and you just adjust what the kid is there. Some motherfuckers don't give a fuck. How do you say out of your mouth knowing that he's harming people? I'm praying for him. Or they, we ain't gonna have no more billionaires. Is that what you're worried about? Really? And like you pressed record and came out and said that. And you know that's gonna last. As long as the internet lasts, that's gonna be out there forever. And you ain't got Slim Thug. I know you ain't got the type of shit to pull stuff off of the internet. You ain't a Kardashian. I'm just saying. I cannot believe that these people are just. No, I can't believe it. Actually, I can't believe it. Like there was an image, this lady, it was on Neighborhood Talk. Kai Sanat, you know, the little young black kid who has the YouTube channel. Nicki Minaj was on there. All the people go up to his house and they in his room and they're on the TV and stuff like that. Streaming and stuff. Him and his friend were in a grocery store and Kai Sanat was sitting in the cart, sitting in the cart and his friend was pushing him around. One person is filming. He also had his phone up. They're coming down the aisle. This white woman who looked like she probably somebody in the comments said she looked like she was a school teacher and she was like, hey, hey, and she was checking them and told them what are you guys doing? Then they started acting stupid. What do, what do you mean, ma'am? What do you mean? What are we doing? Interrupting her, talking over her. This was an elderly white woman, right? And she was like, why are you guys doing this? Why are you guys acting like this? Why are you guys acting like you don't know what I'm talking about? Because they started to gaslight. They like fell into the mode, started talking over her. And then he pulled the, his race card. And he was like, I'm an educated black man. And then as the conversation went on, the same educated black man started barking at the woman when she said, you guys are acting like idiots. You guys know what you're doing. You guys are being disruptive and your guys are acting. I'm an educated black man. She said, well, then act like it. She got the, they asked us together. Do you know there's motherfuckers in the comments trying to play the race card? And act like what that lady didn't, what that lady said wasn't right. I'm about to play it for you. I think I saved it. I'm about to play it for you. Cause she told they ass is just fucking right. It was on the neighborhood talk. Hold on. I, I can find it. I'm sure somebody. Here we go. They're running down the aisle. And I, I think I'll just play it for you. But let's let's listen to let's listen to her. What? Huh? Why in the world do you not have any respect for the people around you? What are you talking about? Mind you, Kai Sanat is in the cart. You can see him. He's in the cart right here, and his friend is pushing him in the cart. And somebody is filming them. They're playing whatever they're doing, whatever people are doing, creating content in a grocery store being disruptive here she go don't, don't act like an idiot you're not an idiot i'm not well you're talking like how am i talking like an idiot i'm talking about this nonsense that goes on in here and no what am i doing like all we doing is just getting fried chicken no that's <laughs> not this? all you're doing that's oh, not all you're doing how am i no, all we, all we doing how am i doing like an idiot fried chicken. Oh. All I am is getting fried chicken, man. Don't treat me like an idiot. I'm not trying to. No, you're treating me like an idiot. No, I'm no, a young, educated, yeah. young black man, and you're treating me like an idiot. Like I ma'am, am acting ma'am, like it. All I am is getting fried chicken. This, 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 ma'am, this, ma'am, ma'am, we're not bothering this, nobody. Ma'am. Look at that. He, he's in the car. You know what they're doing, and he and they're gaslighting her. But she's like, "I'm too old for that shit, y'all. Stop at, stop talking to me like I'm crazy, and stop acting like y'all don't know what y'all doing." And she said uh, along in the conversation, there were some other boys that were in here creating content, and I let their asses have it too. And and they acknowledged what they were doing. See, you can't hold somebody responsible if they don't acknowledge what they're doing. They won't even hold themselves accountable 
well, you know you're in here disrupting shoppers. And there's people in the comments like, she should have mind her business. No, she shouldn't have mind her. Her business is being able to walk around in peace in a store and shop without some of these motherfuckers running up and down the aisles creating content, disrupting people shopping. Sorry, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck who it was. If it was a white woman, a black woman, a Latin woman, I don't care. Would, would it have been better if it was a man? I'm, a, I'm an educated black man. That same stupid motherfucker later in this conversation starts barking. Yeah. Listen. Okay, how am I bothering you, ma'am? How are we bothering you? You came up to us. What, what's, what's, what's driving you so crazy? It wasn't bothering you at all. You came up to us and uh, approached us. I never, I don't even know who you are. You came up. I approached you out of everybody else in the store because of what you're doing. It's disrespectful. So is this so it's re yeah. it's respectful oh, for a human I mean, I'm learning to sit in the car game. We're, 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 we're trying to make fried chicken. Ma'am, ma'am, God bless, ma'am. You have an amazing day. Don't throw God into this no. picture. God's men do not behave like this and inconsiderate. We're, we're uh, getting fried chicken. Yeah, I'm going to use your God. You see how God bless you. Don't bring God into this because if, if you were if any like anything like God's men, you'd have your ass outside of that cart, pushing a cart like you got some goddamn sense. And see, people are afraid of these little niggas running around to say anything to them because they are too violent. They act, they react violently. She actually took a chance, saw them with cameras. And it was funny when she realized that they were recording, she said, Oh, good. I'm glad you're getting this. So we can show you an example how you motherfuckers run around here and people are actually too afraid to say anything. So people in the comments, I can't believe she said something to them. Yeah, no, people get tired of the shit. And she had every single fucking right to say that I'm occupying the same space. We are sharing this space. You running around being disruptive. Have some goddamn respect. Get the fuck out the fucking basket. Stand up if you're so educated. Get your ass out the basket and push it like you got some goddamn sense. The fuck out of here. Trying to gaslight somebody talking over this old woman. No respect. None. Now, you know how I am. I don't give a fuck how old you are. You come to me disrespectfully, I'm going to come at you disrespectfully. She told him, why are y'all being disrespectful in here? Why are y'all being, look at how they talk over her. They would not let her get, now that creates hostility. When I, you don't let somebody talk and they're trying to tell you something, you don't want to hear what they got to say, but you're still engaging with her. The security guard had to come up and was like, he was like, the, he looked at the security guard and he goes, you know who I am? He was like, yeah, I know who you are. I follow you. That's what I'm trying to tell you to get out of here. Get out of here. This old woman does not like y'all being disruptive in here. And she has every single right to say it but you know how many motherfuckers is in the comments defending him only because they're like triggered by the race thing and they're like here's a white woman telling these two black young men to show some goddamn respect for the people around you you motherfuckers is too scared to say anything to their asses it takes bernice to actually come down and say something i can't believe she says something now the way these motherfuckers act nowadays they could it, she didn't know who they were. And when she realized they had a camera, she said, oh, good. I'm glad you're getting this. That shows you she knew she wasn't wrong in any kind of way. Other people be like when the people are wrong and they're doing something like harassing you because you're black and I'm just going to come up to you and say some shit to you. They get upset when they know they're being filmed. They don't want anybody to see what they're saying to you. But when she saw the camera, she said, oh, good. I'm glad you're getting this. If wait, you were making fried chicken. Oh my gosh. Yo, this, is life. this is not real life. Real life now real life. listen to how they gaslight and act like we're not doing anything. We're not in it. You are doing something. You're filming content. You're making content. And as you're making content, you're being disrupted. This is the reason why I don't enter into conversations with men because they will do this all the fucking single time. What I'm not doing. What am I doing? I'm not doing that. I'm not doing. What are you talking? And it's like you you're not going to sit here and act like you're not doing what you're doing and then act like I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I don't like that shit. And these are young men. Wonder where they learned gaslighting from. Did they learn it from their single mothers? I'm sure you're going to blame that on them. What I think is really fucked up is they don't show the video what they were doing before the woman approached them. They start at her saying, hey, 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 telling them to Whatever they were doing, running down the aisle at some grocery store, I'm glad you're getting this. Y'all acting like idiots. 
I'm going to read some of the comments. I said, all this video is doing is showing how these young men act and then want to cry, I'm black, save me. They weren't allowing her to speak. And then the educated one starts barking. That's why cops get called. Because what the fuck? I don't agree with any of this and I don't belong to any community who does. Start the fucking video from, from what they were doing before she approached them. This is why you get the stuff y'all get in your so-called communities because you're so busy defending blackness, you ignore the antics of these dudes. The same way black men defend misbehavior of other black men just because they're black and male, y'all mad because this woman is white. Well, this time, Bernice is right. Miss Cherry the Boom says, the real question is, did she say anything wrong? And for everyone telling her to mind her business, keep in mind that's coming from a person that's commenting on a post, their opinion about somebody else's business. Minding your business is minding your business, virtual or in person. JB says, this is why God don't put me in these type of situation because he knows I would have quickly told her to mind her damn business. I said, if you're an educated black man, then act like it. She told them, right. Would it have been better if another black man or woman said this to them? They're creating chaos in the form of creating content and no one should have to be subjected to their antics while they're trying to shop. Don't get brand new in these comments and act like you would be okay with this type of disturbance while you're shopping. Fuck out of here. Y'all acting brand new in the comments. Somebody said, get out of the buggy and act like a man. That's what she told him. I'm stuck between she's right and mind your business. Little Mo says, I don't give a fuck what anyone does. If those was my son, Mrs. Doubtfire would have got the Alabama brawl vibe on aisle six. You're going to beat the woman up. You're going to create more chaos is what you're going to do, superwoman. You're going to, because somebody, some white woman told your sons that they were creating a disturbance. disturbance. So what you're going to do is come in and create uh, mayhem. That's what you want to do. Because somebody said something to your sons and corrected your son's social behavior. That's why they run amok. That's why they hitting girls in the faces with skateboards. That's why they pushing bitches on the fucking subway track. That's why they stabbing girls in the faces and biting them in the faces. Because when they misbehave, you stupid motherfuckers are always there whirling around in fucking phone booths wanting to save these bitch ass niggas. That's why you get what you get. Mind your business. This new generation, deal with it in order or off Instacart. <sighs> this isn't Karen vibes. She's an older woman who values respect and is saying what a lot of us think about these content creators. Maybe it's my age, but I agree. Why are you in the fucking basket where folks put their food and make to go make content on the street or somewhere where folks are shopping? They want to shop. Get out of the store. These content creators are getting out of control. I agree. You are create. We are as a society sharing spaces with each other. So when you are sharing spaces, there are some so social behaviors that we all agree that are acceptable. Running around disturbing everyone while they're shopping is socially unacceptable. And I don't think anyone is going to ever accept it. I don't care. I don't care. I, you see people creating content, filming what they're buying and stuff like that. They're fine, but you're in a car in a buggy, you running down the buggy, uh, making the buggy go fast and, and then, you know, hopping on the buggy and having it slide and y'all playing like you're 12 and 13 years old. You're not children. And if it were children, people would be a little bit more lenient because it is socially acceptable for children to, you know, get active in the damn grocery store. That's normal. And you expect kids because people don't want to be, they don't want to be in one place at one time for too long it's too much so i need to let loose we get it children then you're going to say you're educated black i'm educated black man shut your stupid ass up and then later you heard him bark that's why the motherfuckers call the cops on your asses and when the cops come and handle the shit the way that they handle it we're going to be like well I'm sorry, you know, you, the, the cops, I don't know, you know, there's some good ones. Not all, not all, not all, not all cops. You know, you should have chose, you know, a better store to go to. I don't know what to tell you.
But no, you, as soon as something happens, you'd be like, I'm black, y'all, I'm black. You see, I'm black. Come, come stick up for me. Let me trigger your emotional response to racism and get you to stick up for me while I'm misbehaving and running amok and creating chaos, a fucking agent of chaos. These domestic terrorists, y'all going up for Puffy, y'all going up for misbehaving young black content creators. No. This is not about respect respectability, politics, and none of that shit. This is you being in public, creating content, and also creating chaos and a disturbance. And somebody's checking you and saying, hey, cut it out. Don't y'all have any goddamn respect? You're creating a disturbance in here. We just buying chicken. No, you're not. And stop talking to me like you're dumb because I know you're not dumb. So stop the games. We're not playing dumb today. You can't play dumb and be an educated black man at the same time. Pick a fucking struggle, bitch. This is one of the rare times I can agree with the older white woman approaching young black men. They definitely not acting like grown men being pushed in shopping carts in the store. I get it. It's for content, but she wasn't wrong this time. She's old school. That's all. That's not even old school. Respect is not old school. She didn't even say nothing to them. And you, and then you're also waiting to hear little microaggression. No, y'all motherfuckers are some idiots. Stop acting like, yeah, I'm not no idiot. Well, then stop acting like one. Then, oh, God bless you. Don't bring God into this. Don't bring your God, your father God into this. Because if it was really father God, y'all be standing up outside of that cart and acting like you got some goddamn sense. If you really believe in the fucking father God that you always trying to get other people to fall in line with. You get your ass out of that goddamn cart and push it like you got some damn sense. What she was trying to say was act like you have some damn sense and stop insulting her intelligence, pretending like you're not in there for shits and giggles on a live stream when in fact you are. Even try to let them know she was cool, but stop playing in her face. That's all. Yeah, she reminds somebody said she reminded them of a teacher. Like she looked like she might be a teacher. Somebody said she's not racist. That's how all senior citizens act. My grandmother would have said the same thing. I'm with grandma. I don't care. I get tired of people acting silly too. Get out of the buggy. Like she said, she's right. People do too much for views and like on social media, stop playing in, in them, in them people's store. Y'all act like children. Somebody said, y'all can't even let her finish explaining why y'all aren't men. And you're literally being pushed around in a buggy by another male. Her point is proven. And then barking. They was not bothering her. She should have kept, <laughs> she should have kept on uh, minding her business. You cannot address the new generations like in the eighties or early two thousands. They don't understand respect your elders. So you just let them go off like, and still don't understand. You just let them run wild and still don't check them. They don't understand. So just let them run them up. Let them keep hitting girls in the face with skateboards. Well, she should have said something to him. No. That's why y'all get the shit that y'all get. That's why you get the results that you get. There's no consequence for bad behavior. That's why it doesn't change, whether it's the way that you deal with these wild ass men out here or the way that you deal with them in relationships. Y'all don't give them consequences. They're never going to change. They're never going to change. All of them, never going to change. So you can sit on the fucking dock of the bay, wasting time while it rolls away. Waiting for your goddamn fucking knight in shining armor to fucking ride through on a goddamn white horse looking for somebody to protect your adult ass. These are men running around the store trying to make content. And when somebody tries to check them, y'all are like, she should have mind her business. But then wonder why, why is the black community the way it is? Then you want to blame solo parents, mothers. I would have left that lady talking to herself. They stayed too long. This is the respect your elders buttons. Why would they say fried chicken? Her and my grandma must be friends. It's definitely giving retired teacher vibes. The unpopular opinion, she's right. A grown man in a cart. I'm with her on that one. I think it went over their heads. I believe she's referring to conducting themselves like adults in a public grocery store and how men should carry themselves that are adults, period. My grandmother would have told them they acting like goddamn fool. Did she chase them down? That's harassment. She could have went the other way and not seen them anymore. 
Karen was fed up. She got a point though. Y'all literally acting like riots though. I agree with her. Nah, she's actually not wrong. An elderly woman who sees foolishness and doesn't have a clue who they are. She's just addressing them as young men. I see nothing wrong with her actions. The dog barking is sending me. The barking proved her point. I stand with Karen. Bet you she's a retired teacher. They don't want to see this foolishness. That's what she was acting like. If you, I'm going to play, I'm going to play a portion of it so that y'all can see this lady because she was not having it. She was not having it. They know exactly what they were doing. Here they go. Federal agents raided Diddy's homes in LA and in Miami um, yesterday afternoon. And we have the news report. Is a search warrant activities at both of Combs homes. Search warrant activities at both of Combs homes. And then later on, Charlemagne goes, did they have warrants? Did you read the story? are related to an ongoing sex trafficking investigation. However, now agents with Homeland Security raided two homes belonging to Combs, one here in Miami Beach, the other in Los Angeles. And a neighbor tells me that about 30 to 40 law enforcement officers uh, showed up to the house out here and carried out this search warrant. You know what's crazy? That um, I have here that Diddy was not named as the focus of the investigation at this time. So why was he doing all that? They were doing all that because on the heels of Cassie's allegations and lawsuit, he actually paid out. Whether that proves his guilt or not, why the fuck would you pay out? Now, the producer comes out with more stuff and says, hey, this is what's happening. So now let's, let's start an investigation. Instead of what they did was they got tips and they're looking for evidence to support their case against whoever is involved whoever the fuck is involved because they arrested his mule his drug mule his drug dealer the one who pushes weight around for him a young white ex-basketball player from syracuse i think he went to syracuse i think they said young white dude what that is like the most clever thing that you can do i'm hiring white people to run shit for me because I know they don't trust me because I know how I know how racism works and I know how a white cisgender male would never have nobody would ever suspect he's running drugs for a black man. But I don't it's, just, it's a lot going. It's like for a show. That's what I said last night. I was... Yeah, it is a show. This is the entertainment business. All the shit you're watching all the time it's all for entertainment this is all a show we're gonna watch this man's story play out and i said well, what do we what do they know about this situation because mm. he's in the focus of the investigation what do they know what do you mean what do they know charlemagne did you read cassie's the complaint with the trigger warning at the top did you read the other guy's complaint with the trigger warning at the top because what this man has done is so heinous and disgusting and y'all can't y'all have to act like you don't know what the fuck is going on you can pay me enough to look this stupid well he wasn't the focus of the investigation of homeland security but he definitely was the focus of the investigation of social media yeah, yeah he was you know it was, a sh it was a show i mean the way that they came air land and sea uh they and envy didn't they just run up into the in the end, Charlemagne, didn't they just run up into the um, Breakfast Club offices to take some computers while they was investigating DJ Envy? So why the fuck you act like you don't know what the fuck is going on, nigga? You act like you don't know what the protocol is. Girl. Like he was... I just... Girl! Stop! <laughs> With the mob, and they were going to have a gun battle and a gun shootout. Uh, never... This... Yeah, like the mob. This man has been accused of blowing up people's cars from several different sources and be that could corroborate. Yes, that happened. Yes, that motherfucker's car blew up. Yes, that happened. Yes, that happened. Yes, that happened. All of a sudden you're like, well, why would they act like it was the mob? Shut the fuck up, NB. I can't believe you have children. I can't believe somebody duplicated your DNA. You dumb fuck you. You fucking just hilarious and you Charlemagne the God. Two fucking dummies sitting up there. Three fucking dummies. Look, I can't even count you motherfuckers. You so dumb. <laughs> Make me dumb. You know, we've never seen anything like that for alleged whatever it was, mm -hmm. but they act like they were going. We've always seen stuff like that. Maybe you're not paying attention because they're not black. 
we're going up into people's houses. Yes, this man has been alleged to blowing up people's cars. We're going in armed. We don't know what the fuck is going on over there. Or the mob. But clear, I mean, about. clearly they know something if they did all of that. So I'm just saying, what is... Why is Charlemagne acting like Homeland Security? Bitch, they executed and enforced a search warrant at the same time on two different coasts. What do you think is fucking going on, stupid? And why would you even put yourself in a position for me to talk to you like this? You're stupid. Just dumb. Envy, dumber. You motherfuckers, I don't even know what's after dumb. Dumbest, dumb, dumber, and dumbest down there sitting on the breakfast club. Complete. Now, that is bias. That is complete bias to where you can't even act like you, act like you don't know what the fuck has been going on. Furthermore, you act like you don't know what the fuck has been going on for years. That's the other part, Charlemagne, Envy. The why is what I want to know. Yeah, I mean, they place both of us. Uh... Charlemagne, you know why. Envy, you definitely know why. Y'all motherfuckers know why. Y'all know why. And for y'all to be acting like you, like I said, you couldn't pay me enough to have documented this stupidity like this for the world to see, for your children to see. There's no way. I would put myself out there looking this stupid, being on the wrong side of some shit. I'm looking at your, I'm questioning your character. If I'm your child and I'm, I'm watching you do this, I'm like, my, this, why is my dad acting like he don't know what the fuck is going on when I've even heard him talk about shit going on with, with Puff and these motherfuckers out here? Why is he acting like he doesn't know what's going on? Now you got Guy over there explaining because they're in close proximity to Puff. So they have to act stupid and have the world call them dumbasses for one one motherfucking man. Sons, Justin Combs and King Combs in handcuffs. Mm -hmm. um, TMZ also tracked Diddy's personal jet, Love Air LLC, and is currently on the ground in Antigua, which is in the Caribbean, which sparked rumors that Diddy was fleeing mm -hmm. or whatever. But then TMZ uh, posted like two hours after his homes were um, raided that he was just walking around on the phone. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, did they have warrants for Diddy? They have no, they have warrants for nobody, right? Did they have warrant? An active search warrant? Like, what, what the fuck are you talking? That's what I said. Do y'all read what y'all say? Do they even read what they're about to have an opinion on? Did Charlemagne ask if Homeland Security had a search warrant? What? Do you think they're going to waste that much resources to raid two homes on each coast at the same time? That's for our shits and giggles. <laughs> I said it must suck not to be able to be honest and transparent. That's why you stay on the fringes of this. Charlemagne, Envy, and Jess's silly asses are literally acting like they don't know what's going on with Puff. It must suck for them to ridicule people for not coming forward soon, sooner. Why didn't you say anything then? Meanwhile, these three motherfuckers are so tethered to their associations and proximity to Puff that they can't even speak. And then you ask yourself, why don't people come forward sooner? You motherfuckers can't even talk. Speak up. You can't even talk. Charlemagne, you gotta ask, oh, what, what did they have? Did they have search? Girl, did they have search warrants? They acting like he the mob. It's, it seems like it's a show. You motherfucking programmed bitches get on my fucking nerves. That's why you don't ever want to be in the industry that deep. Because there's no way that you could sit on a grand stage in front of millions of people and play dumb for any amount of money. Meanwhile, these three motherfuckers are so tethered to their associations and proximity to Puff, they can't even speak. They have to act like they're dumb and delayed. What part of responding to a sex trafficking investigation don't they understand? To arrest anybody? Yeah. No, because they would have been arrested. Mm -mm. Mm. I guess they had a, just a, a warrant to, I guess, to, to look what they were to investigate. Yeah, investigate what they Search. were looking for. And then they bothering Carisha online. I seen on X. Somebody said, well, "Where Carisha at?" Like, uh, 
fell. What? Jess, Carisha, don't say nothing. Fuck these people. <sighs> Girl. Let me read some of the comments and then we out of here. Here we go. They ain't do Epstein or Weinstein like this. Willie Lynch. Like are you are you saying that in 2024? Are you really, are you saying that? Are they dumb? I said no, they're plain dumb and gaslighting. The slowest show in America. Homeland Security is not going to waste resources just for a show. Are y'all serious? unpopular opinion the breakfast club been goofy for a while and adding just just made them goofier because what the fuck maybe just was a bad choice angela lee actually had a high school diploma and multiple degrees so cassie was drugged and sa for years for a show too the feds don't come knocking on your door if you don't, if you don't have any involvement in a crime it doesn't matter if you're the focus or not the fact that people are more mad about the consequences of his actions versus his actions that he got away with for decades is crazy as hell to me. Y'all don't know what this man is into to be defending him. What I do know is that people in the industry are scared of him. He settled an abuse case with his longtime ex instead of fighting it. One of his ex-girlfriends was on Tasha K describing the alleged abuse she experienced at his hands, the Asian girl. His children's mother and people around him are showing up dead, extremely ill, and multiple artists' dreams were snatched by this man, and they haven't had a decent music career ever since. He's not innocent, and Black people have got to stop blindly supporting people just because they're Black. That's going to be the, that, that is the downfall. It's too many, it's not, and it's, and it's not, and it's not even Black, just Black people, because if, Diddy was a black woman. You know how many niggas would be like, she need to go down for abusing these boys and taking advantage of these boys. They would be all on the internet. No, but they have their identities are so tethered and constricted and confined to being black and male. They will excuse terrorism. And then you have people who worship men. You are in a, in a system that worships men and centers men. So you have men and women worshiping men and trying to defend them and then put black on top of it. So now you have race to add to it. And that's why these niggas stay with a deck of race cards. I'm black. I'm black. I'm black. I'm black like Veronica Vega. I'm black. I'm black. You identify as? I'm black. As black? I am black. I'm okay. absolutely black. Okay. Trina, and you said? I'm black. They when I tell you these niggas have a deck of race cards waiting to throw at you, and some of you silly ass women, honey, will step into a phone booth so fast for these niggas. And I, you know how many women I had to say in the comments, do you know he would harm you? Do you know he would hurt you? Like I don't understand. Like honestly, I don't understand the psychology behind. Like this is like one plus one is this. Here are all his victims. This is what he's done to them, and you're like. Well, they just trying to get money out of him. What? Like, did you really just say that? Girl, what's wrong with your brain? What is wrong with your brain? Did it leak out of your ears at night when you was asleep? Like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? And then you do all that virtue sig signaling. I'm going to pray for him. I don't understand how I, I can't just sit by and watch. I told a woman I'm sitting by and watching. I got my popcorn, baby. I got my popcorn watching it. I'm, I'm, I'm watching it. Mm hmm. Yes. I'm watching it go down. Well, that's how they did Michael D Jackson. Where's Angela Yee? She was a, she was the smartest one. So they wasting taxpayers dollars for a show. Please buy the feds ain't coming unless the ducks are in a row, baby. Believe that prayers for the brain cells of folks that still listen to the radio. Amen. That's Rocky, the one that Joe Button dragged down a flight of stairs. Just consistently shows us she's not the right fit. No, she is the right fit. They have to get a, she's like, oh, uh, she's like the trifecta, a mammy, a pick me, and a male identified girl. Perfect. She got a son, you know, she, she got a son, honey. That's her son. So, you know, she already male minded, male worshiping, pick me, 
mammy, mountain climber, all the shit. That's she the, and she's xenophobic, homophobic, transphobic, right? Bigot, you a bigot too? They got they they got exactly what they want. She just got titties in a vagina. That's it. When y'all be like, oh my God, gay men, I can't believe that these gay men are misogynistic. Women be misogynistic too. Women be, women be homophobic, transphobic, misogynistic. Women hate women too. That's by design. That's why y'all don't like each other. It's by design. You don't trust each other. It's by design. You give them the benefit of the doubt. You trust them first. Let them have a little money. You really don't know what the fuck is happening. Your eyes is really wound up. Let them have a little money. Then, then all of a sudden you can't see. There's so many filters now over your fucking glasses. You actually can't see what's really happening in front of you to the point where you will actually be praying for a demon. Girl, that's crazy. That is crazy as hell. That man is a, the embodiment of everything that's bad. When, like I said, when I, when I read that she was immobilized, I was like... You're not even allowing her, even if she's doing it under the influence, you're not even a allowing her to be autonomous in it. You have to take full and total control. I can't even imagine the things that is going through her brain when she goes to sleep at night, how much therapy she needed to be tra traumatized in the way he is traumatized. And I know he's traumatizing boys too. I know they were probably at the quote unquote freak offs. That's terrible. And that is why you get the community you have. Because y'all too afraid to say anything to these young men because they're violent and they're like temperamental. You don't know what their temperature is. And then everybody backs away from them and it's like, they mamas, they is they mamas, it's they mamas, it's they mamas, it's they mamas. It's they mamas. No. They're listening to motherfuckers like Slim Thug and Benzino and Stevie J and all the other people who then dust off this dusty ass playbook and say, he's trying, they trying to bring a black man down. You know how many times y'all niggas say that? And it's, and it's literally like you've been programmed to say it, you malleable brain motherfuckers. And then you want somebody to, to, to allow you to be their leader? All they want to do is dominate and control and they need the money to do it. That is the reason why they identify with them so well, because they want to be able to do the same thing. Well, Harvey Weinstein, well, you're going to get the same Harvey Weinstein treatment. And I can't wait to see Puffy doubled over on a fucking walker walking into court because we're going to see how this is going to age him when he's not able to suck the life force out of other people. You're going to see how he's going to age. You're going to watch it. And I want to watch it in real time. That motherfucker get thinner. I'm going to watch it. I don't pray for him. Pray for him for what? Pray for the people he has victimized. Pray for all those people to be restored, whether it's financially or whatever. They're going to need the money to go through all the fucking therapy they're going to need to heal from what he has done to them. How dare you pray for him? You ain't no fucking saint. You, you, you ain't getting no fucking cool points. Shit. What else is going on? Shit. Where are they? That it was not. Where are you? Okay. 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 So give me the benefit of that. Okay. Like the, that it was and then Honey Boo Boo's mother, her old melted face, old looking like old melted marshmallow ass, sitting in the damn comments in the damn video talking about um, they used Honey Boo Boo's money. They used it all up. And everybody, why would she do that? Why would she do that? Why would she use all that money up? You're dealing with a poor white trash family that got their access on some money from, from their daughter, her personality, and use all her money up to do what? You slovenly pig sitting up there spending money on men, buying men, and dope. What else did you think a poor white trash family was going to fucking do with her fucking money? She talking about she only got thirty three hundred thousand or thirty thousand dollars left. Let me hear. Here she go. Hey, Kel, I wanted to respond to your video out of everybody's video because you have been on TV. You dusty okay, ass bitch. This. Let's start by it from twenty eleven October twelfth twenty eleven. I can't even yeah. listen to her talk. I can't what Mama June or whatever the fuck her name is. She back looking like a goddamn. 
fucking bag of fucking hun Hawaiian rolls. Fucking bitch. And she got some surgery done using her her daughter's goddamn money, taking all her all her damn money. To buy drugs and men, like them old fat white bitches do all the time. As soon as they get their hand on some money, they looking for some black cock. Then said she went and got some white cock, and all they was doing was abusing her, taking her money. I, she don't have. She has low self esteem. She looks like a fucking melted sto snowman running around here. You think anybody's really attracted to her? She took that girl's money and spent it on men and fucking dope. What the fuck did you think them ghetto ass white people was gonna do with her fucking money? Let me get out of here. Now, honey, boo boo don't even have no money. She over there with a black boy anyway. He probably ringing her that, ringing her goddamn pockets too. Just using that girl up. What the fuck did y'all think was going to happen to her and her money? What did y'all really think that was going to happen to Honey Boo Boo's money? Honestly, you seen her mother. You seen her family, right? So what y'all think that was going to do? That's like a motherfucker winning the, this the same motherfuckers who win the lottery. And five years later, they ain't, they ain't got no more fucking money because they buying niggas and dope. Anyways, I gotta go. I'm gonna make me some more mushroom coffee. Go outside, let the sun hit my face. And um, I'm done talking about it. Y'all need to get your not y'all need to tighten up. Get your shit together. It's not a good look. I would, I would, I, I just don't understand. I do understand the Breakfast Club. I understand the stupidity. Like I understand y'all dumb and slow, but I would never ever put myself in a position. To say some shit that's gonna last on the internet. You, this this is documented and it's gonna last forever. And y'all was acting like, what they doing all that for? They act like he in the mob. Did they have search warrants? And Harisha, don't say anything. Don't mind them people, girl. Shut. Y'all need to shut the fuck up. Y'all dumb as hell. Tired ass, po ass, raggedy ass, slow Whoa. ass niggas. And now everybody can see. Now everybody knows it. Now we just got more evidence to reaffirm that y'all do not need to be on. And then like you have like literal politicians going down there thinking that I know people still listen to the breakfast club. People still do. It's just a different, I hear static basically it's on a frequency that I can't, it doesn't resonate. I don't hear it at all. I don't hear it at all. I can't, it's staticky. I'm like, you, you guys are sound dumb. And then the people in the comments are telling the white woman she should have mind her business while these motherfuckers terrorize. So y'all just letting all this terrorism go on around you. You just ignoring. Everything's fine. Shopping in the cart. Everything's fine because they black boys. I'm not going to say anything to them. Why? Because you scared. Bernice was not scared. She was like, hey, hey, hey. While your mamas and your daddies and your communities is coddling your weak asses. I'm here to tell you your behavior is disrespectful. And if you were men, you wouldn't be running around in no fucking buggy in a fucking goddamn cart running around the store disturbing people. I'm done talking. Take care of each other. Protect your energy. Let's get down in the comments. Peace. Center yourself. Peace. I sponsored the, now yes. I sponsored the Let blog. Me tell you something.